This is Foley, my newly maxed account, and after maxing, I have the desire to obtain some of the rarest items in the game, and I'm going to do it one boss at a time. Once I pick a boss, I'm stuck there until I receive one of the rarest items from that boss. For example, killing the King Black Dragon until I receive either the pet at a rate of 1 in 3,000 kills, or the Draconic Visage at a rate of 1 in 5,000 kills. Follow me on this journey as I take steps into some of the longest, or luckiest, grinds yet. Welcome to Spooned or Doomed. Hello. Welcome back to Spooned or Doomed episode 5. Recapping last episode, I went on a Slayer grind, notably green logging Cerberus as well as gaining a bunch of collection log slots. And after selling off all the loot, my cash stack sits at 1 billion GP with all intentions of spending every single bit of it on my Inferno setup. And if you look at my wish list for the Inferno, I am a little over 200 mil short of hitting that goal. With that being said, I found the perfect boss to fight that will get me over the hump so I can finally attempt one of RuneScape's hardest challenges. Vorkath, a boss locked behind the completion of Dragon Slayer 2. A boss that most accounts will seek to defeat to obtain the Vorkath's head to upgrade their Aegis device. A boss that Iron Men will consider killing thousands to train their prayer through the superior Dragon Bone drops. A boss with a unique table that looks like this. A 1 in 1000 drop in the Dragon Bone necklace. Two 1 in 3000 drops in the Jar of Decay and the Pet Vorky. And two 1 in 5000 drops in the Draconic Visage and the Skeletal Visage. Aside from the Dragon Bone necklace, any of these drops will be what I am looking for in today's video. Starting at 511 kills and on average 25 kills an hour, getting to to the drop rate of the pet or the jar is a 100 hour grind and a 180 hour grind to get to the rate of either visage but before we get started i just want to say thank you for watching and a bigger thank you to my channel members for supporting me further all right the first thing i gotta do is buy some gear which i already did i bought myself a dragon hunter lance uh, bandos chest plate and tacits primordial boots and the void waker i might switch out the void waker for like some d claws or a bandos god sword at some point i'm not sure but we will just have to wait and see. Other than that, I'm wearing my Tanzanite home for the prevention of Venom and as well as the Salve Amulet because Vorkath is considered undead. But yeah, that's pretty much it gear wise. One of Vorkath's special attacks is uh, spawning a like little undead thing that you got to kill. So to deal with that, we bring the Slayer Staff and we bring runes for Crumble Undead and that will just one hit it. So that problem is solved very easy. I'm also bringing runes for high alchemy because uh, Vorkath does drop that and just raw cash a lot. So I am going to convert all my gold into platinum tokens. That way we can get an idea of how much raw gold I was able to obtain during this grind. Okay, it looks like we have uh, two out of 11 combat achievements at Vorkath. I'm not going to try to do them all at once, but um, throughout the video, I think I'm going to try to do a couple. These speedrunners won the, the kill in less than 54 seconds. Yeah, I don't know about that one, but... uh. We should be able to get maybe a couple of these speed chasers. The 115 seems fine. Kill Vorkath with only your fist. That's guaranteed. You just got to take the time to actually do it. Kill Vorkath without losing any prayer points. I'll probably just do a zero prayer run and bring a lot of Ceridomen brews. Kill Vorkath 10 times. Uh, same thing, just bring Ceridomen brews. Kill five times without taking any damage from his special attacks without leaving his area. That's just going to be really RNG on the acid uh, drop phase because yeah, sometimes it'll just land on you and there's nothing you can really do about it. Hit Vorkath 12 times during the acid special without getting hit um, by his rapid fire or the acid pools. Um, that's going to be the blowpipe log. Um, it'll be interesting to learn that, but I'm pretty sure I could do it. Kill the uh, zombified spawn without using crumble and dead. Uh, yeah, I could probably do that. I think you just got to bring like a dark bow or something of the like. Kill four cat using melee weapons only. So that would mean pretty much, I think you just have to tank the zombified spawn at that point. All these seem pretty doable besides the Grandmaster speedrunner. Um, 54 seconds, that's a pretty big RNG fest. And uh, yeah, I might need Need a zerite crossbow for that but yeah we'll try to tackle as many as these as we can we just got a dragon bone necklace what 527 kills it's a one in 1000 drop and i've already gotten three of them I mean, first one of this video, but I've gotten three total and 527 kills. I mean, that sucks because, I mean, they aren't worth much, but it's still, like, still a pretty rare drop. Like, Jesus Christ. Oh, there's the speed chaser. A, uh, oh, we got a 109. That's pretty nice. We just got to shave off, like, 15 seconds for the Grandmaster time. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to happen. Ooh, look at that. Kill count 601 at Vorka. Huh? 
Oh my god, I cannot believe I chanced myself right there. That was... That was just horrible. There we go, dodging the dragon that has five perfect kills in a row. If you look at the acid uh, special attack enough, you can kind of predict where they're going to drop. So it was a mix of me knowing where it was going to go and some RNG at the end of the day, but we got it. It's probably the hardest task uh, for me besides the GM speedrun time. But yeah, I got it at 635 KC, so really... Uh, it only took like a little over 100 kills in this video to get it, so not too bad considering. All right, let's go punch Vorkath with my fist. See what happens. 15 minutes later. There we go, we did it. And we did stick him with the pointed in at the same time. That's two and one. But it took us almost 15 minutes, Jesus Christ. But uh, stick him with the pointed in, I believe is just killing Vorkath with only melee attacks. Yeah, only melee weapons. Yeah, we got 10 combat achievement points and, and one kill. 700 kill count. And there is the extended encounter combat task that is killing Vorkath 10 times in an instant. Pretty easy, you just gotta bring a lot of Saradome and Bruise, that's all. And while I'm working on uh the blowpipe walk i am also gonna buy the uh dragon hunter crossbow which i probably need to take money out of my platinum stack and buy that because i don't have enough raw cash from from killing vorkath to do that so uh dragon hunter crossbow it has been acquired all right i added a couple more tiles this is the uh this is the tile um uh, that we're gonna be walking on with the blowpipe i believe we'll start right here and then we'll attack vorkath and then we'll just keep on going back and forth. So I'm, I think that's how it works. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, I, I, I sort of did it. I, I about died, but we sort of did it. We sort of did it. <laughs> I was running, so it kind of fucked me up. But uh, yeah, a little bit more practice. We should be good to go. All right, now we're going to get this dark bow special. Hopefully. Oh, I, oh, 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 fucking teleport. Oh my God. I, I forgot to switch arrows. I forgot to switch to arrows. Oh my God. That could have been really bad. We would have, we would have definitely got slapped up. That would have, uh, that would have been no bueno. All right. Now, now we can kill it. There we go. That's a combat achievement. Zombie destroyer. We love to see it. Okay. I did it. I just got unlucky with the acid spawning on top of me. So, uh, yeah, we just got to work on that and then we should be good to go for that combat task. Oh, there we go. We got the walk. We just got lucky enough on the uh, on the acid special uh, not landing on us. So I like to see it. I was uh, I was practicing the blowpipe walk with uh, the dragon hunter lance without even knowing it. So uh, I had the uh, the clicks down for it. I just needed to get the luck for the acid to not spawn on me, really. Okay, I bought the Xerite crossbow. Um, since I got the range set up already, I'm going to go ahead and try for the speed task. Oh my god. No. I was one tick off. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh, I was so close. Fuck, I'm short again. Uh, how much was it this time? Uh, like three seconds. Okay. Uh, we'll get it. We'll get it eventually. It's just a lot of RNG. Ah, uh, yes, a little consolation prize of me fucking up. I get a lamp. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Well, I uh, yeah, I'm just not gonna do it. Uh, I spent like six hours on this uh speed time, and it is uh wasn't meant to be. It was not meant to be, but I gave it the good old college try. I still got one more uh, combat achievement. I am going to go for it's the zero prayer one, I believe. All right, I did it. I didn't even bring a dragon fire shield. No, it's pretty close, though. I had 10, 10 HP left and no fucking health. But at least, at least I got a at least I got a combat achievement. Let's fucking go. 800 Vorkath kills. Oh, and look at that. We're at 900 kill count. We were just zooming by today. Yeah, yesterday, um, trying to go for that speedrun task. I was just resetting a lot, not getting a lot of kills. I only ended up getting like 40 kills yesterday. But uh, we are we are zooming by today. And like, we've gotten 120 kills today, and I still probably have like another five or six hours that I can play. So uh, maybe maybe we could hit a thousand kills uh, today. Maybe. Okay, so I figured instead of keeping my gold and platinum tokens, I'm just going to put in a low buy offer for an Elias and that way maybe i can get a pretty cheap spirit shield for the inferno oh uh, uh, i took a roll of the dice 11 passes in a row to large and all of my time 100 years from my prime i'll never reach my potential i killed up he did play that shit back i called that shit to a mental i got these stories and poems i pass them off to y'all my aura's gold 
and just know that my shit is different, dog. There ain't no bitch in my blood, now there might be some in yours. But who am I to judge? That's just not in my lineage. They ain't gotta tell them my show. They ain't gotta sell them they buy it. Y'all with the same old bias. Y'all with the games of compliance. Crucified and you punch pilot. I can vouch for myself, now you don't. Money ain't real, so without the sunroof over two dope. Kudos back to the drawing board as I plan. My thoughts get deep, my mind can expand. Nigga, fuck you think this is, I ain't plan. Fuck you think this is, I ain't plan. Fuck you think this is, I ain't plan. Bitch, move! So fast, slow lane, go hard, no pain, spark a match, light us up, sounds on, don't give a fuck, don't give a fuck. God, I did it with melee only. I did it with melee only. Oh, I actually did it with melee only. Oh, that was a god run. Oh my god. I was... Totally, I totally gave up on that combat task, but I just RNG'd it out with the Dragon Hunter Lance and some huge hits with that dr the Dragon Claws. Oh my god. 51 seconds, that's freaking crazy. That is all the combat achievements for Vorka. I mean, that is pretty awesome. I, I would totally, I totally gave up on getting all the combat achievements, at least for a while. I was gonna wait until I had like full Torva or whatever. But I mean, I did it with bandos and a light bear. I didn't even have like a, a B ring or Ultor on. So that was, that was just amazing. It honestly feels like I wasted six hours of my life yesterday trying to get that speed task now. But I guess that's just how RNG goes. It giveth and it taketh. All right. And I believe that marks 1,000 Vorkath kills. Would you look at that? So we are officially a third of the way to getting the pet or the jar, and we are fifth of the way to uh, being on rate for either of the visages. Still quite a bit of ways to go, but I'm getting, I'm averaging about 200 kills a day. I'm at 220 right now, so about 200 kills a day. It's uh, it's gonna take a while, but not as long as I thought. A dragon fruit tree seed. That's uh, that's pretty rare. That is a pretty rare drop indeed. All right, are, are you guys ready to do some uh, Vorkath on Vorkath violence? Because uh, I sure as hell am. Look at this. <laughs> I downloaded the uh, the export uh, model plugin, and you can change your character to pretty much anything you want. So it looks like we're going to... Oh, wait, we can't fight. Wait, no. Come on, come on. Come on, you got to let me fight Vorkath. There we go. Oh, okay. So as soon as we attack, it changes our model. That kind of sucks. But I, I thought we were going to get some real Vorkath on Vorkath violence. That would have been just amazing. 1100 kill count. Totally not me looking away from my screen for two seconds and getting hit for a 105. No, couldn't be. Couldn't be me. Okay, um, so I've killed Forecath 43 times today, and I've already gotten three elite clues. These drop at a 1 in 65. So I'm definitely getting spooned on elite clue scrolls right now. I believe I have 10 or 11 in the bank right now. I'm going to be holding on to all of them until, uh, until I get the drop. Then we'll just do a big old elite clue opening and uh, see what we get from there. Oh my god, we got the back-to-back -back elite clue steps in the wilderness resource area. I fucking love that. That actually saves so much time. Yo, look at that. 1200 kill count. Oh, would you look at that? A loop half key and a tooth half key on the same kill. There's a full crystal key from a Vorkath kill. You love to see that. Ah uh, yes, you may be looking at the inventory and saying, what the fuck is that silver ore doing there? Because I am too. That shit, that shit's uh, like a 1 in 2000 just about. So uh, yeah, we, we we hit another rare drop. There we go, boys. A rare drop worth 5,700 GP. That's that, that that's what we're here for. You know, that that's what it's all about at the end of the day, you know. And there is 1,300 Warcath kills. Well, I guess this is a good time to uh, say if you are looking for a uh, clan to join, um, I do have my own clan called Amore Mio. It's right there on screen. So uh, yeah, if you're looking for a place to hang out, then uh, feel free to join. But if you have made it this far into the video, I just want to say thank you for watching. And if you are enjoying it, uh, make sure to subscribe so you can see when I put out more content in the future. And if you'd like to support me further, then uh, in the description of the video, there's a link to become a channel member if that is something that interests you. You. 1400 kill count. I've learned the Wooks walk. I've became one with the Wooks walk. I am the Wooks walk. All right, the big 1500 kills. 
we are halfway to the drop rate of the pet or the jar. Obviously still a long ways to go, but that is a good milestone to have. Oh, would you look at that? At the end of the trip, we hit exactly 1,000 kills at Vorkath for this video. You get two superior dragon bones per kill. Obviously, I didn't get all of them because sometimes I would die with uh, dragon bones on the ground or I just wouldn't have enough room in my inventory, but... Uh, we do have a 1933, so we only missed 67 of them, which isn't too bad in retrospective. I had to do that, I think, 10 trip kill, which uh, a lot of uh, superior dragon bones were left on the ground there. And then all the others, I, I just died with bones on the ground. Yeah, totaling up to 123 mil. Now we've only gotten 12 elite clues from these 1000 Vorkath, and I believe we were supposed to get 15. So we're a little under the drop rate, but at Maybe we'll catch up. We're not too bad under the drop rate for the elite clues, but 2.8 mil in raw cash. And then of course we have all these alkables um, that I've already out. I out them as I get them and we're sitting at 19 mil in cash right now. So, but uh, here's to a thousand more Vorkath. Onward and upward we go. Oh, we we got the jar of decay. Oh my god. Well, uh, that was the uh, third most wanted item. At least I didn't get the draconic visage. Um, but I am I am very glad to get this item out of the way. And uh, yeah, now we can uh, we can start preparing for the inferno. We got that at twenty six hundred and sixty five kill count. So a little under the drop rate, but we are actually. This is probably the closest I've been to a drop rate on a on a rare item, so I'm pretty happy with that. And we're going to put this straight into the display case, uh, replacing the uh, Cerberus one really quick. But uh, oh my god, that Vorkath one looks sick. But there's not much left to do besides um, go ahead and sell off all the bank and see where we're at and buy our Inferno gear. I am, I'm actually so excited to uh, finally step into the Inferno for the first time ever. All right, and all the loot has given us a grand exchange value of 213 mil. Let's go sell this all off. And it is all sold, and we have a little over 220 mil. I'm just going to go ahead and grab the gear I was using to kill Vorkath and uh, sell that off, and then we can go ahead and start buying some of those uh, big ticket items. Everything is sold off, and uh, let's just go ahead and cancel that uh, Elijah Spirit Shield offer as well. And we're sitting at 1.1 billion gp almost 1.2 bill so it might be a bit of a squeeze to get everything and there we go the three big ticket items are bought the elijah spirit shield the eldritch orb and the nightmare staff and here we go buying the virtus robe top the occult necklace and echo crystal and the just the face guard the only thing i'm missing right now is the virtus robe bottom but i should get all that money from the clue caskets that i'm about to open but oh my god i'm looking like a chad right now 28 elite caskets along with a couple of caskets from a uh, skilling not a lot of skilling done in this video but still a couple so we'll just start off with the beginners nothing special two easies nothing special either we'll go to the medium nothing special hard nothing special now for the fun part we got 28 elites surely we'll get at least one collection log slot oh the first one is a mimic okay um it has been a while since i fought a mimic i believe this is my third mimic on this account so i'll just go ahead and open it right here see what we get um yep that's a that's an elite clue for you all right let's go um let's go back and open up some more all right let's keep on going oh wait oh wait no i have my i have my master dropped in uh 
and the crafting guild, so we're good. Okay, we got a, another master clue. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and teleport back to the grafting guild. That way all my masters are in the same place. All right, 22 more. And we get a back-to-back -back master clue. Okay, I like to see that. And I believe that whenever you get a master clue, it's like a 30 second cooldown before you can get another one. So I'm just going to sit here in anticipation until that time is up. All right, I think it's been 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and open again. There we go, another master clue, two, two clues later. Okay, we got four on the ground. This is, it's gonna take a while to do all these master clues, let me tell you. All right, 19 more caskets, give me a collection log slot. We get a back-to-back -back master clue, of course. So we got five on the ground right now. All right, let's keep on going. Oh, we got a, a deer stalker? What the fuck is that? And a master clue with that. What is this? Oh, it's a little cap hat. Oh, okay, okay. I like that. I actually, I, I like that. I like that one a lot. That's a, that's a good unique to have. Okay, but we also got another master clue with that. So you know what that means? 30 more seconds of idly waiting. Here, 15 more. Give me at least one more collection log slot. That's what I'm looking for. Another mimic. Okay. We're gonna leave this place immediately open and we get... Yep, that's an elite clue for you. There you go, boys. All right, 13 more caskets. And another master clue. Okay, see you in 30 seconds. All right, let's go ahead and rip it. Another fucking master clue, Jesus Christ. Dude, I'm gonna be doing master clues for like the next fucking three hours, I swear to God. Oh my God. And more, give me one more unique. That's all I'm asking for. Another master clue, okay. Hey. Dark Infinity Color Kit. Okay, that's probably not worth a lot, huh? 389k. Well, how much is it worth? It's 30k? What the fuck? Okay, well, yeah, the, the purple sweets really carried that, that casket, didn't it? Well, we got the collection slot we were asking for, so that's all good and dandy. We have one more elite casket, and it gives us the Dragon Chain Body Ornament Kit, too. So that, that's actually pretty cool. Two ornament kits and a clue opening session. Um, Not the... Uh, not the most expensive ones, but they are ornament kits at the end of the day. I will take that. Yeah, now I have nine master clues to do. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in like three hours. All right, I got uh, seven caskets. Uh, one I couldn't do because fighter torso and I refused to get that. And the other one I'm keeping in the bank because it's a pretty good triple step. Um, for those of you that don't know, if you have two different clues that have triple steps in them, you can do one of the triple step clues and then drop that clue, pick up the other triple step and uh, fuse the three torn clue scrolls and together and it will complete the one that you have picked up instead of like the one that you did all the triple steps on. So you can keep a really good triple step clue. So this allows you to keep a good triple step clue, which will save you a lot of time um, whenever you're doing master clues because some master clues triple step clues take fucking forever to do so yeah i got seven clues and we're gonna go ahead and open them um i actually don't have that many master clue collection logs i don't think i got two so uh maybe we'll get one out of this maybe we'll get one. Oh, first one we get a um rcs hood which is pretty cool we're gonna keep on going oh Enku gloves and a lesser demon mask and a is that three in one? Wait, that's three in one. Is three mass? Wait, three collection logs and one master clue. I don't think that's that. That's got to be pretty rare, right? That has to be pretty rare. Oh my god, the ale of the gods is freaking amazing too. That is crazy. Okay, last master clue and we get nothing. But oh my god, three in one. That is absolutely insane. I don't think I've. I don't believe I've ever seen that happen. What are the odds of that? And the Anku gloves are actually worth quite a bit of money too. They're like 3.5 mil. So that's crazy. And that was the Ale of the Gods was actually our 600th collection log slot. We now have 601 collection logs, which is bittersweet because I was kind of wanting the Inferno Cape to be the uh, the 600th collection log. But, um, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. I'm going to go ahead and sell all of these uh, clue items off and then... Uh, yeah, I guess we'll wrap up the video there. All right, I uh, sold everything. I got 35 mil cash. Uh, I can buy my last item 
the Virtus robe bottom. I believe that is the last item I need. And uh, we are ready for the Inferno. I have 5 mil for supplies. Um, if I really need to, I got 81,000 uh, raw kabam bams that I can dig into for some monies um, for supplies. Yeah, I am... I am ready. All right, and now it's time for the stats part of the episode. We ended up getting 12.3 million in XP total, 2 mil being in attack XP, 2.1 mil being in defense XP, and 2.6 mil being in strength XP. We also got 2.5 mil in hit points XP, 349k in ranged XP, 330k in magic XP, and that was all from crumble undead and high level alchemy. I didn't do any skilling besides my daily tree runs, which gave me 2.3 mil farming XP. This was about a two week grind. Today marks day 14 of the Vorkath grind and um, I got it pretty early into the day. So I'm gonna go with 13 and a half days. But we ended up getting 2,135 Vorkath kills during that time. It equals up to about 158 Vorkath kills a day, which is kind of skewed because there was one day I was trying to get the GM time and only ended up getting like 40 kills in that one day. So that brung down the average by quite a bit. But either way, um, at 25 kills an hour, that means I, on average, spent 6.3 hours a day stabbing dragon. Not as many stats as the last video because there was a lot of bosses that I had to go through and all that. But uh, I am glad to get the Jar of Decay. That was the uh, third on the wish list. I'm just glad I didn't get the Draconic Visage because that... That would mean that when I go over to King Black Dragon that I have to get the pet there and it's not going to give me the option to get the Draconic Visage. So it's good that when I do go over there, I'll have two options of an item to get instead of just one. But anyways, this is me signing out. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe so you can see when I put out more content in the future. And shout out to all my channel members, Blake Simons at the Teaspoon tier and Dakota Adkin and Ultimate Gaming at the Tablespoon tier. I appreciate you guys very much, and the next time I see you, I will be stepping into the Inferno. Good luck out there gamers, and I'll see you guys next time.